Well, first of all, Berlin is one of my favorite cities. I've come here twice during the film festival. Berlinale is my favorite film festival. We came here twice with Elite Squad. We won the Golden Bear with Elite Squad 1. So I really enjoy Berlin. I could have remained here. I could live here. There are issues in the film that are very present, like the issue of feeling displaced, of uh, feeling strange in a new place. But it goes beyond the classic issue of immigration, because immigration is a very complex issue. Immigration leads to metaphysical questions. What is it to be in a new space, in a known space, to be an alien and with a place where people free you from your past? Sometimes you are in a place that you don't speak the language. It might be suffocating, but when you follow Donato's journey in the film, you realize that not being able to speak the language at first is very liberating. So there's something I really like in the film, and that is the moment where he dares to stay, where he dares to run the risk of staying in a place that is unknown to him. Well, I don't worry about it. I think that the relationship between two men that is portrayed in the film is important for the film, but it's not the main theme of the film. This film is not about a love story. It's about a relationship between two men and all of us, actors, press representatives. The more we avoid making this a big issue, if one of the main characters were a woman, this would not be an issue. So it's up to us now not to make it an issue, not to transform it into a problem. By doing this, we will help the population to overcome prejudice against homosexuality. It was only about being gay. I think it would be very superficial because this film is about much more. And if you go beyond the fact that to mean fall in love with each other or feel longing and if you go deeper into the film the film is not about stereotypes and that is what made it so interesting to work with him because I knew his films. It's not about stereotypes, what he does. It's about what you said. It's about people who think or hope they might be heroes and become very insecure and how they respond to it if they are um, courageous and lose again because, because of the courageous decision by Donato to go to Berlin. And at the end of the day, Conrad and Donato lose themselves because of this decision. We shot it in two different locations. And it was very important to shoot with the heart. I not only shoot with the camera, I shoot with my heart. And this film was shot in two places I really love. I love them because of their beauty and their shortcomings. I mean Praia do Futuro in Brazil and Berlin, and this mad beach that is shown at the end of the film that corresponds to nowhere, actually. So it's nice to shoot in places you relate to. We we try to create an intimacy to this character. And thanks to this intimacy, I could deepen the role this younger brother would play. I elaborated on the relationship I had with my father in real life. When his older brother abandons this younger brother, well, I drew inspiration from the relationship I had with my father. We're not close, we're estranged. So that worked as a source of inspiration. My personal experience helped me. Actually, when you mention stereotypes, you're touching upon a complicated issue. I shoot films because I love people. I'm a people's person. People can be wonderful and horrendous. And this is so fascinating when you're dealing with human beings. But I prefer to think that people are incredible. People touch me deeply. And when you're talking about stereotypes, well, you you shouldn't focus on that. You should look at characters as complex human beings. And the most sensual thing about human beings is their contradiction. And when you look at the characters from this angle, you will see there's no room left for stereotypes. And this is how I could uh, reverse these stereotypes.